One of the biggest talking points from abortion advocates is that stripping Planned Parenthood of its half a billion federal dollars would especially hurt minority women. Here are some examples where we see that idea being promoted. Ebony Magazine recently ran a piece titled, Trump Attacks on Planned Parenthood Endangers Black Women. And R&B singer Mary J. Blige did a fundraising interview last week for the abortion giant, praising Planned Parenthood for its presence in the black community. Here is a telling statistic. Nearly 80% of Planned Parenthood's abortion centers are within walking distance to black or Hispanic communities. To discuss what defunding the abortion giant would really mean for minority women, we are joined by this week's expert panel. Alfonso Aguilar is president of the Latino Partnership for Conservative Principles. Gloria Purvis is co-host of EWTN's own Morning Glory radio show and chairperson of Black Catholics United for Life. Thank you both for being here. Thank you for having Thank us. you. Alfonso, you wrote an op-ed with a stunning statistic that ran in the Miami Herald. 64% of all Latino deaths in 2009 came from abortion. Can you expand on that? Well, you know, I like to choose my words carefully, but what's happening in the African-American community, in the Hispanic community, is a real holocaust. And mm -hmm. if you look at the statistics, 52% of all abortions in America are performed on Latino and African-American women. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is really concerning. Uh, Planned Parenthood is targeting our women. Uh, as you mentioned in the intro, 80% of their clinics are in our communities, mm -hmm. and that's not by accident. Mm -hmm. And Look, uh, their roots, the roots of, uh, philosophical roots of Planned Parenthood goes back to Margaret Sanger and the eugenics movement. Uh, this idea that you deal, do away with poverty by doing away with the poor. Hmm. And so this is sad, and we're not talking enough about it in our community. Yeah. And I think that's part of what we have to do, start raising awareness of what's going on in our community. Gloria, you also have said that the proximity of these Planned Parenthood abortion centers to black and Hispanic communities is not accidental. What do you mean by that? It is not accidental. When you look at Margaret Sanger's Negro Project, which she started in Harlem with the express intent of putting birth control in the hands of African American women so that they would stop having babies. And what she did in the Negro Project was she sought out the black minister to go out and put this message out in the community because she knew if she went to speak she would be met with lots of suspicion. Mm -hmm. And thankfully people in the community were suspicious of this plan to space births. They saw it as a way mm -hmm. to eradicate the community and of course the Catholic Church with her constant teaching was there to say this is wrong. And it's mm -hmm. interesting because they do recruit uh, African-American activists yes. or Latino activists to go after our women. But when you look, at, at least in the Hispanic community, mm -hmm. the majority, poll after poll shows that the majority of Hispanics uh, are against abortion. They feel it's morally wrong. And if you look at uh, uh, the polls in Latin America, those numbers are even higher. 35% of the Latino population is foreign born. They come from very socially conservative countries. And so uh, they really oppose abortion. So why are these numbers so high in the community? Right. It's because they have an aggressive effort, Planned Parenthood and other organizations to target our community. And sadly, they target the poor. Sometimes mm. many women in despair. Uh, and uh, they uh, propose abortion as an alternative, as something that is normal. Uh, it's just a medical procedure, and they don't mention the psychological impact it has on women. In many cases, these women end up having abortions knowing morally that it's wrong, and that mm. has a terrible uh, impact in their lives. So th this is really disturbing. In the Hispanic community, I'm a little bit frustrated because I hear a lot of Hispanic organizations talking about immigration, which is a legitimate issue. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, talking about the dignity of immigrants, but what about the unborn? When it comes to the dignity of Hispanic children, of Hispanic unborn children, mm. there's silence, and, and it's really concerning. Well, same here within the black community. It's not like we're an abortion-loving community. Mm. In fact, you see groups like, uh, initially, Black Lives Matter was about addressing and what they saw as police brutality in that black life should be cherished. Yet somehow that message doesn't translate through to the black life in the womb. And so you see this great uh, disconnect. Like why does it have to stop once it's in the womb? And I will say just from personal experience, mm. going to a doctor 
um, being told I had a high-risk pregnancy and being pressured into aborting, which I didn't do because the doctor didn't know not only was I married, I had insurance, I had a job, I also had Jesus, hmm. which take away any one of those things or none of those things and a woman would feel tremendous pressure and fear to abort. But what we need to do is go out and point out, look, killing the poor does not solve poverty. It simply does not. It is not helping black women to kill an innocent member of the family. We have the opportunity in our communities through defunding Planned Parenthood to break the tie, number one, a habit of people going to those death centers in their community mm -hmm. and, and sending them to real centers of whole care in their communities, for, uh, these federally qualified health centers that actually deal with the real health issues that black women face, right. diabetes, mm -hmm. heart disease, HIV and AIDS, mental health issues. Planned Parenthood does not provide any of that. And they can also take care of any pap smears and things like that at these federally qualified health centers. And they can take the whole family there. And guess what? The whole family comes back. No one dies by going to these health centers. That's correct. Abortion is not health care. Abortion is not health care. And I'm hoping that by defunding Planned Parenthood and by what Mr. Aguilar and I do, that we further tie, break that tie in people's minds. But we need more awareness. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, we see, for example, the Hispanic media. Every day they lead with a story on television about immigration. Mm -hmm. But there's no mention about the high rates mm -hmm. of abortion in the Hispanic community. So we're looking at ways to make this a national issue. And perhaps the time has come. Mm. Uh, for communities of color to come together to yes. lead the way and educate our policymakers, but because it's not only the community, sometimes our own policymakers don't know about the staggering rates of abortion in our communities and make it. Uh, you, they want to make it. Uh, they want to talk about race. Well, let's talk about the rates of abortion mm -hmm. uh, in the Hispanic community, in the African American Absolutely. community, and let's talk about these stunning statistics. Thank you both. Hope to have you both back here again soon. Thank, Thank you. Thank you for having us. Thank, Thank you. you.